There's my pennies that I'm gonna pay my fine with. A couple hundred dollars there. Let's see how this turns out. I'm going inside the police station. We'll try to record them. Let's see what they say. Oh my god, that bag's heavy. <coughs> I don't want you to get down. I wouldn't have to. Probably. Then I'll be stuck picking them all up. Do, 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 do. Hello. Hello. Man, before I talk to you, I got this thing recording, conversation. Um, just to let you know. I gotta pay a fine somehow. I think that's how it works. Gotta pay it to you guys? Yeah. Okay. Do you wanna look up the ticket number? I don't remember how much it was. Uh, Wysensky, last name. When did you get it? The fourth okay. of this month. Okay, just a <clears throat> I guess I'm supposed to be here today. I don't. What? I think today's the deadline to be here. Two eighteen twenty five. Well, two eighteen and then twenty five dollars is two separate ones. Okay. Now, what am I paying you guys for today? They're both due. No, I mean, with how can some? I'm just look, I'm confused on how this works. I thought I had to have due process or at least plead no contest, not guilty to the charges before I'm fined anything. Yeah, I just a little bit. Now, what am I paying this for? Why are you paying it? Yeah. Because it's due. Well, yeah. also, let me let me also stop right there. I'm audio and video recording this. I'm not putting you on on camera. I'm just recording a conversation so I can look back upon this. Just just so you know. I know. Now, the reason I have a question about that is because I've never heard of such a thing to where I have to pay a fine before I have due process, which would be. Well, in this case, you do. I'm sorry. This is the process. You were issued a citation. You have five days to post your bond. Your and I have already. And that's what I'm saying on the phone. I was confused. Right. I explained this to you a number of times. You explained it to me very rudely, actually. As a matter of fact, you're Cassie Smith. Are you Cass Are you Kathy Smith? Yes. You're the one that told me that about the seatbelt law that um my mom didn't teach me that. Are you going to pay this? That's what we need. Yeah, but I just need to know where's where do I when do I go to court for this? I will give you the court date when we get your money and get your receipt to you. So by paying, I'm not admitting guilt. Pardon? By paying this, I'm not admitting guilt. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I got some money for you right here. No, you have to accept it's legal tender. No. It's legal tender. And I have cash, but these pennies were saved up for my kids' field trip. As you can see, she's not going to take my pennies, which this is legal tender, at least I thought it was. It's wrapped. I could have unwrapped it all. Try to make it easier on them. Uh, well, with that aspect. <clears throat> yeah, that Cassie, Kathy Smith didn't put on camera, but she told me that she felt she didn't, the, the police officer shouldn't have to explain to me the safety and importance of a seatbelt law. That my mom should have taught me that, which is completely unprofessional. Quite rude on the phone. When I'm paying something, I don't know what I'm paying for. I'm, I'm completely lost on the process of mayor's court, as they want to call it here. 
And as you heard it, she said she's refusing to take my pennies. Okay, you're not taking this? Okay. The, to me, this is legal tender. I mean, either way. So you're accepting to fuse my money, man. I'm not exchanging this. This is currency. Okay. Thank you, Miss Smith. Uh, I'm getting to it. Can I get a court date now? I need a court date now. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You have a nice day. You, the other person, lady. Okay, so I'm out of here. They accept and refuse my money. That's great. Okay. Unlock the fucking door. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Huh? $280. Huh? Yeah, she refused to take them. Yeah. Scoot up. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the city of Anna building. Let's see what they have to say. Hello, um, I don't know how you feel about being on camera, but I'm audio and video recording this. Is that okay? Okay, cool. I went to go pay off this fine across the street, right? Police station. Okay. And the only money that I have available is, well, I had like $100 in cash, and the rest of it I took out of my uh, my savings at, that I keep at the house for the kids. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens to be, you know, uh, lesser value, lesser money, meaning not dollar bills. She refuses to accept it. Now, I don't know what to do now because that's a legal tender. Um, she won't take my, my money. Yeah, the police station. Yeah. For a police fine? Right. Well, yeah. See, I'm a little bit confused about how mayor court works. I've never been to court without due process. I never pled anything on the case or the ticket. And she she basically said, if I don't pay them today, then to talk to Kathy Smith. That's all we can do is go on Kathy's word. We can't override Kathy's. Kathy is she's the um, police liaison. I know about Kathy. The same lady that I, I asked her a question the other day, and she told me that my mom should have taught me that. I mean, she's complete. She needs to retire. But now my question is: There's somebody here official that I could talk to, since this is a city building. Um, somebody above them. I mean, if it's the mayor, I don't care. I talked to him on the phone the other day too. But she's refusing to accept my money. What she's going to do is turn around and mail a letter to the BMV now and suspend my license when she refused my money. I mean, it's all on camera. I mean. Yeah, it's a pretty messed up court uh, 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 ticket that I got. Uh -huh. um, I feel that uh, it could have been handled differently. It's against actually the Constitution that they even have on their website. And what did he say to you? Hello. Yeah. What? Yes. Okay, mayor's out. Okay, mayor's out. Okay. You want to come back? You'll be back this afternoon. No, I got better things to do. Um, who else is? Who else is? Uh, can I talk to? You're just a police liaison. As far as I'm concerned, you're not really important. I'm yeah, sure there's uh, council members, may, somebody else that makes decisions, just not you. I, I'm council as well. Somebody else. 
Well, they're, they're, they meet twice a month. If you want to come back next Thursday, right? Thursday evening, 7 o'clock. What are you going to do about this fine? Because I feel threatened. Do you send the letters into the B&B? What are you going to do about the fine? Huh? <laughs> what are you going to do about I it? I tried to pay it. You didn't want to take my money. You go to the, you go to the bank and get cash. I'll be happy. Money is pay. money, regardless of the form. We are not equipped to do that. Equipped to take money? Mr. Walensky, I'm not going to argue with you. We are not taking that bag of coins. We are not. They're wrapped in pennies. I don't care. It is money. It is legal tender. I've never heard of such a thing. Refusing to take my money. Just somebody else I need to talk to because you're you're evidently been doing this too long. I'm calling the chief of police. You can happily talk to him. Okay. I hate for it to go. I don't know what your problem is with me, but. Since you're sitting here, can you guys take this complaint? I was told to give one to the mayor, chief of police. I'll see that he gets it. Uh, I, yeah. I'll wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably should make a copy of it first. No, no I'll, I'll get my own copy and then give you what I'm copying because I just... Okay. We can make a copy for you. you got, I emailed it on the Vienna Police website, so you already have this, but I wanted to hand one personally. Okay. We could not find it on here. I yeah. checked first thing this morning, and it is, there was nothing there. I'll be happy to make a copy. You make a couple copies and give it to the proper people, if you could. I, just, I don't need one back, but as long as everybody gets one that needs one, the mayor, chief of police, and the, the, the Anthony Harris. Oh, well, yeah. You don't want a copy? I don't need a copy. Okay. That's cool. No, because I, I know what it is. Okay. Anything else we can help you with? No, I need you to take my money. Okay. We're not doing it. Well, well, then I need to coordinate or something because I'm not just going to leave here in fear that I might have a warrant for my arrest. You're going to get a warrant for your arrest if you don't pay your ticket. Eventually, that's going to happen. I'm sorry. Now, if you're wanting to be difficult, we are trying to work with you here. We've told you what the procedure is. You're not wanting to follow it. So, I, I mean, just... as soon as you go to the bank and get your currency, we'll be happy to write your receipt. Be happy to write that receipt for you. I'm, okay? I'm not going to change my money out. Okay. Well, I, you know, I don't want to tell you. We're not equipped to take those kind of coins, right? We're not allowed to do that. So, if you want to go get the, you know, you want to, you have a debit card. We'll take. Where's the, Where's card. the chief? I bet you would. I bet you would. You got a debit card? I bet you would. No, yeah, I got a couple of them. Well, we could take a debit card. I'm not giving you my debit card. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Where's the chief of police at? He's coming. Okay. He's coming over. Okay. Thank you. Um, I called now. Have you been here a while? Working here? Yeah. Have you? How long? I sure have. A long time. Too long, Probably seems like? longer than... Uh, this guy is getting real tough up, but he's not... He's, he's saying, well, if you can take his money, I'll try and go to the bank and get it. He's giving me a hard time, and whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's called. He's called everybody. Do you not, do you guys not believe in why I called everybody? Nathan. Yes, sir. What's the problem? Nothing really, man. To be honest, uh, it, it's my opinion, my point of view, it's it's money, regardless of the form. She's refusing to take it. You guys made my life completely hell. I've called off work. I have missed work. We've made your life hell? Yes, yes. Do you not want to accept responsibility for yourself? Yeah. Oh, there's, I, I did, in fact, drive without my seatbelt. I did, in fact. I know. I've talked to you. Drive on a suspended license. I've talked license. to you about all this stuff. I did both of those. But, I mean, and I know you're trying to make a point by coming in and, and lugging in, you know, 100 pounds of change. So it was okay? $100 worth. It was only, it was half. A hundred dollars worth of change. And I was going to give the rest cash. There's nothing wrong with taking a hundred dollars of pennies. It, no, I'm not tearing them open and counting every one of them. They are wrapped by the bank. I, do, came, I don't care. Those came straight from the bank. I, I don't care. If I if they were not fifty cents, and that's a felony on my behalf for uh, some, I'm sure. I don't know anything about that, but we're not tearing them tearing them apart. It'd have been just as easy to get bills. They were. I, I, I understand you're frustrated. Okay, yeah. and you're trying to make a point. You've made your point. Okay. And this is just continues. Now you guys are continuing the devious, devious, in my opinion, devious activities. No, it's not devious activities. Hey, you guys are searching my vehicle, open my car doors up. You guys write on my insurance papers. 
You guys do all this stuff. Now you're not taking my money. What am I supposed to think? Am I supposed to be a happy person? No, you guys are searching my vehicle without opening my car door up with me in it. Didn't ask, didn't say nothing. Just open it up. Regardless of how good he felt talking to me, I talked to him through my window for 20 minutes without mm -hmm. no problem. So there was no communication error. There was nothing, no, no reason for him to come over and open my door up for no reason. Unless he was looking for something. There's nothing the to hide. Number. The VIN number, he had the whole VIN number down. Um, he, when I, when I reread him the VIN number, and uh, going through the numbers, he's like, yeah, that's what I had. So he had the VIN number, not to mention the fact when but I- But you got to confirm with that stuff, what, because there's a VIN number? There, on there was the no, paper? the paper was not blocking, no numbers. I got out and looked at it when I got home. The, the piece of paper that was on the VIN number was on the asterisk. The asterisk that's, is at the beginning of the VIN number and at the end of the VIN number. Okay. That piece of paper was blocking the asterisk. The asterisk is irrelevant according to any BMV, what car is this? Um, and, and still, you know, and I thought about it. Okay, him opening my door up, how's that going to help him read the, read the VIN number? Is he going to put his head in between me and my dashboard to see the VIN the number? VIN or to see the door jam. He didn't look at the door. He just opened up the door and yeah. said, I can't see the VIN number. And I said, let me try to get that piece of paper. Well, heck, my VIN number's right here on the sticker. And, the and VIN number's typically right there in the door jam. He still should have asked. I mean, I'm, he still should have asked. He still should have asked, just point blank, Or he said, what are you doing? Um, just double check. I his don't. Number. That's not my job to. His job is to ask permission if he can enter my vehicle. If he don't, get a warrant. I mean, that's just. I have nothing to hide. So, nothing at all. So, so let me get this right. You would rather us impound your car, go get a search warrant, just so we can read your VIN number, and then you would. I would rather him ask. I would ask. rather him say, "Hey, man, you mind if I open up the door, look at your VIN okay. number?" Because I never knew VIN number was on the door. And then you, if you want to turn it all around, if. If you were legal, then none of this would happen, right? And, and again, I understand you don't agree. It's a legal, it's a legal mistake. And you understand, you, you don't agree with the insurance <laughs> and all that other stuff, right. okay? But now, what about him? Job? Now, what about him writing on my papers, my, my insurance paper? It's no big deal to you neither, right? It's just an insurance paper; it can be replaced. I can call the insurance company and get a new insurance card if it hurt me that bad, right? That's wrong. The point is, he drew on my papers, the papers that I hand him, what required by law. There? My name, my address, my uh, driver's license number, date of birth, just all this information totally defaced. It's not in the original condition that I handed him. And what this is all about, I mean, this is plain and simple. Besides the it's fact... It's all about because you don't agree that the government should make you wear a seatbelt. Right no, 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 no. The first thing he told to me is I'm participating in this click it or ticket. And this is a, a program funded by the government. Yeah. So you guys are getting, Vienna, the city, is getting money to go out and pull people over. But they're, they're under the ruse of safety. Now, if you look at the same seatbelt law that I violated, right below that where it says F, it says the National Highway Safety shall educate and promote safety and, high, and safety belt awareness. Not one time did he express to me his point of view in wearing a seatbelt. Since you guys are taking this fund, pulling people over for safety, at least he can do is educate me, as it says in section F of that same uh, you don't uh, same think chapter. That citation is a form of education. No, no, he's supposed to tell me the dangers of not wearing one. Just it gives you educate me, educate me. Why do I need to wear a seatbelt? Because evidently you know something I don't. I don't know I'm supposed to. She well, said what she said was, "Oh, your mom didn't teach you that." Really? What does my mom have to do? See, that's another unprofessional. You guys have been doing this so long. You guys are so comfortable for her as a professional to start talking about my mom. That that this this blows me away. This is this is. If if you want to pay your ticket, go get some cash. Okay. I'm cash not I'm change. not changing. It's, it's right. money. It's legal tender, man. Plain and simple. Okay, that's 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 your problem. Okay. 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 That's it then. That's it. My the, the complaint I have for the officers with you guys and, um, well, many other sources, but you can read it if you yeah, want I'm, to. Yeah. What what is it? It's the the well. Kind of the official complaint, but there was more that I sent to other people okay. about the whole incident. But you're welcome okay. to read it. It's about what happened, my point of views, and, and some of the stuff, okay. uh, you know, need to change. All right. Other than that, man, nothing against you, nothing against Kathy, but she has an attitude. She's been doing it too long. You have been doing no, this too long. No, she hasn't. No. Been doing this too long. She's, For her. Patients are running thin, okay? Patients are running thin. For what? She don't even know me. I know. I asked her, I tell uh, her about, you know, he should have told me about, and then she starts talking about my mom. But, I mean, come on, how old is she? It's, it, it, what does my mom have to do with me wearing a seatbelt? Raising you, teaching you right from wrong. <laughs> my mom's like upstanding lady. My mom makes thirty dollars an hour. She's a good lady. You, you know, do you teach your kids? Absolutely. Right wrong? Absolutely. All my okay. kids are very. And respectful. that's what she's referring to. Okay. Nah. Okay. All well, right. I mean, if you guys are going to take it, you're not going to take it.